Hey everybody, let's play some Crusader Kings 3 and knock over the microphone, why don't I? Sorry guys, um, I hope that wasn't too loud. Anyway, um, last episode we did get the grand strategy planning out of the way. Um, laid out the plans for the next couple moves and uh, most of them will require more money than we have and uh, certainly more people than we currently have in our court. Uh, I do only have two knights, I didn't even, I just uh, went over the military quite quickly, just looking at the number of men. But uh, yeah, we. <laughs> this is disgusting. Uh, so for the for the conquest, we do have planned. I'd rather we don't have to use our marshal, even though he's an okay fighter, but he's a far better marshal and he's pretty young. So I like him to just stay that and uh, you know, gain experience. So what I think I'll do is recruit this dude. Um, he. He's not skilled at anything, but he can fight a little and he's gonna just bolster the ranks. And he is cheap with 10. So uh, let's delay the claims just a tad and get him. So our army goes to superior quality. Where can we go to? Uh, quality gauges the power of an army relative to its number of soldiers. Yes. And that does mean... I wanted to see the levels. I think it's elite and, and super elite or something like that. Anyway, a new faction created. Duke Gerard or Gerhard created the Liberty Faction. Second Liberty Faction, huh? And the Sinful Prince Archbishop is exposed. Mm, yeah, I don't really care for that. Uh, the faction might be interesting though. Mm, let us see. Greetings, Count Werner of Argau. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets at Emperor Heinrich's court. However, I still believe there's something going on in the shadows, as do I. I only need a little more time to determine what it is. Well, what are you doing here for them? Just go. You have my fullest trust. Go out there and don't fail me again. Where was I? Um, factions. Liberty. Well, that's not so scary, huh? One member. It is the Duchy of Upper Lorraine. Well, that actually could work out to advantage if somehow they just go bit over the threshold and do attack the Emperor. We might actually see them weaken to a point where we can then press our claims. But yeah, for now, it's not very likely. How's the neighbor doing? He is allied to the Count of... Um, what? Kuno. Uh, Kuno. Kuno. That is nice. Very small military. That's what I like to see. And he's allied to Lyon. They are roughly on our level a little bit stronger. Consentious scribe. Sadistic, diligent, zealous. Yeah, okay. <coughs> How about you, Neuchatel? You're allied to Bologna. Yeah, that's actually not that scary. Um, and I think, well, we'll just see. Bern is just a better county overall, I think. They have uh, bigger levies. Guild halls, Hunter's Lodge, nice, more tax, defender advantage. And you guys have prayer halls and pastures. Mm, yeah, I'd say it's very similar. And they both have two allies. How did you gain your allies? You are Duchy of Piedmont. Okay, so she is related to the people of Kuno. And that's how they gained that alliance. And you married nobody. You married um, Fauré and Lyon. Okay, so the heir married into Lyon, the nephew or his second son, rather, married into uh, Cunot. 
And they still have one seven year old that they could marry off. So yeah, I think burn is the burn is the concern. Wick wick wick. Yeah, that was a tight rhyme. Um burn is the concern and I think we wanna get at them before they get the third ally. Hopefully we uh, will soon have oh hang on so much happening um leopold and christie is marshall oh that's pretty cool so he is at 11 now very nice just keep training young lad you'll get there level of 12 or so might be good um we could also just make him a temporary steward um i don't think we have to settle for this though oh hang on aggressive attacker organizer Misguided warrior. Who are you? Oh, nine prowess. We could recruit him to. <sighs> Why can't I get like a 15 prowess or something? Like a, just a decent knight. Though he's pretty young, he could still learn. And 10 bucks. Nah. It is 10 months. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is a lot of money for us. And he also can't be a steward. Now well, let's just wait. Let's just wait. I prefer to rush attacking burn as much as possible um, before they get too strong. And then we'll be stuck here because to our right we have uh, Zurich, Zurich rather, which is uh, currently under Swabia, and they are they don't have allies, which is good. But they have a bunch of kids, so they could get an ally in a hurry, and they will. The AI is uh, improved quite a bit. So. We are stuck with uh, attacking these smaller territories here, and uh, we do want that to be done before they get a good ally. Like, if this guy would ally with uh, Provence, I would... Well, okay. Provence and Austria, interesting. Very interesting. Piemont doesn't have any. And Besançon is practically allied to the whole world. Duke of Holland. Duke Ratislav of Bohemia, which is good. Because that's the fellow who is educating our heir. Count Hermann of Lüneburg. That's quite a bit away up here. Uh, still no secrets, but yeah, let's just keep digging. I don't need many, just a couple. Uh, allied to me. Count Louis of Sundgau. Okay. But yeah, I don't really... Well, actually, Count... Did they say Count Louis? Oh, yeah. Count, not Duke. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Okay, still only two. Nicholas is swayed. Very, very good. Nicholas must now like us. He does, and he will now provide us with a couple taxes and a couple soldiers. Anybody else we can recruit? No, just Norbert. Okay. Um, I think we can change our swaying target. And the question is where we go. Do we try and find more allies in France? Though it is very unlikely that we're gonna have any more children to marry off. So, And we're not a diplomatic leader, not by any stretch of the imagination. So I don't think we can actually um, get any more alliances easily yeah our heir can still marry i mean that route is still open but not sure if we want to marry him into france um, and if we necessarily want to pick you know what we can do we can just uh, check out the suitable candidates for otto von habsburg we could just do that um what did I want to do? Yeah, I want to find a spouse. <laughs> Gee. Okay, and we do want... She needs to be fertile. Um, she should be... around our age. She should have a trait that's inheritable. And, uh, well, that limits... the selection quite a bit. Comely. Yeah, that's okay. Hail. Comely and ambitious is good. Utlede, um, where are you from? You're Saxon. Barony of Velden. Where are you? 
up here in Angria somewhere. I don't know. Doesn't look too great. Does not look too great. Um, yeah, so that's... We'll postpone that a little bit. He can come of age and just marry a, a much younger girl. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, we could also marry a 17-year-old. You know, you learn... What they say, uh, you learn riding on experienced horses or something. <laughs> um, whoops. Emperor Heinrich is attacked by Leader Lech. Leader Lech of the Populist Uprising. Uh-huh. How's that looking? Okay, they're pretty strong. Who's the enemy? Up here. Bernie of Lubin will become theirs. Uh huh? Okay, so they want to be independent or what? what is it? Let's check the factions. We got nothing to do anyway. Want independence from the Legion. Apparently they do. My Marshal Gautzelin has been showing off a promising new recruit. He may not be one uh, as of noble stock as you, my liege, but on my name I swear that Rutger is someone you would want on your side. Mm, yeah, I certainly do. He has 14 prowess. That's a good fighter. He's a rough terrain expert. He's a decent leader. He is ugly. Mm, yeah, he is that. And he's a strategist. Yep. Come to my court. Come, come, come. I don't discriminate. You can be ugly if you have a skill. Much like me. That is great. So now we have a... Yeah, he's our best knight currently. And he might actually be the one leading our army because he does... Oh no, he's strategist. Rough terrain. So in hills, mountains and wetlands. And uh, here, where can I see that? Control, blah, blah. Development terrain, plains. We have mountains here, we have plains there. Okay, so I thought this, this looked so mountainous, but apparently it's just the valley in between the mountains. So the rough terrain expert isn't that important, but still, he's a very good knight. And I won't sneeze at that, especially if we don't have to pay that recruitment fee. And I think by now we got the 50 bucks. We could start uh, pressing some claims. And we're going to start with Bern. Or Bern, rather. I should pronounce the name as it is supposed to be pronounced. Um, and hope they don't gain stronger allies. And hope that our ally holds it together. But yeah, they are pretty much allied to a couple small accounts, but also we have a couple powerful allies in Bohemia and Holland. Oh, Holland, ooh, they're getting their ass handed to them by England. What do we have here? While performing her duties as my spy master, Ingeltrude has uncovered secret, a secret rather, held by Duchess Matilda of Tuscany. She has secretly taken Duke Ernst of Austria as a lover. Oh, that is... Oh, ha, 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 ha. Ah, that is... Hmm. I'm trying to rub my belly and pin my fingertips at the same time. Oh, that is that is delicious, because both of these guys we want to have as allies, or we want to have hooks on. This is very useful to know. Thank you very much. Uh, Tuscany is a potential very powerful ally. Because I do believe they sooner or later will become independent from the Holy Roman Empire. And they are the force to be reckoned with in Italy. Uh, Puglia being a close second, but not that close. If, Tus if Tuscanys can focus on, on their wars, they can pretty much take over anybody in Italy. Because they are rather strong. The challenge here is that uh, it's a duchess and she's rather young. So I'm assuming she has a court that... Yeah, I can't really see that their opinion of her, but... I'm assuming they're ready to snap her in the back at any moment. Anyway, let's check out our secret, shall we? Hooks and secret. Ooh, we can get a strong hook on the Duchess of Tuscany. Now, I also like the Duke of Austria, though he's currently not that powerful. 
And I do intend, even though that is a long-term goal, but I do intend to take over Austria as I do consider that the home territory of Habsburg. So I think a weak hook is not that great on him, but a strong hook on Tuscany on a young leader with a very powerful army. I think we'll go for the blackmail. Oh, and she will accept 100%. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I... Hang on. Council. Can I do something to... Mm, I can seduce her. Not really. I mean, some people are arrogant enough to consider that a gift in itself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she's 21. I don't think she's considering it a gift <laughs> to be seduced by the... 43 year old married count um, and we are just so we won't do that oh that is delicious she did lose opinion on us but that doesn't matter that doesn't matter at all hang on oh yeah she is already married and she doesn't have children but once she has children we could actually force them into marrying our heir that Sounds pretty good to me. Anyway, let's let the game run a little bit. We do need that claim. You can see the progress here. I'll put it to speed 4, because there's not much we can do anyway. Um, this piety is going to be a problem, actually. Oh, you can't... Is that so? You can't really lose a level of devotion. Okay. Ooh, okay. Emperor is being attacked by France. Kingdom of France has 5,000 men, roughly. Allied to Navarra, so those guys, they're not that strong. Allied to Galicia is also not strong. So they are pretty much even. The problem is the Emperor has a couple wars on his hands. He does have one against King Philip now. He does have one against the populist uprising. And he does have one against uh, some sheik what is he doing there gaining territory here okay um, so that should be over yeah that should be over quickly uh, Duchy of Barcelona okay he's just an ally so Barcelona should yeah they should be dealing with that on their own so I'd say yeah it's it's not the worst to have a French war but it has potential to be drawn out. And there we go, the Barcelona war is done with. Oh no, it's not. Ah, he did give in to the factions, didn't he? Did he? No, he didn't. Did he win that already? That's weird. And another faction. God, it must be so much fun to be emperor. Faction over faction over faction. Hmm, we could now press our own demands, but I really don't have that much of an interest in that. Um, currently, we are pretty much safe in the, not directly in the middle, but, oops. Spymaster secret uncovered. You learned Maria's non-believer secret. Spymaster's average intrigue skill led to this windfall. Maria, who are you? You are guest at the Emperor Heinrich court. You want to come to our court? She will not accept. We could use a hook on that. Blackmail her and get a hook. It will be exposed. Yeah. That is actually... Yeah, that doesn't hurt us at all. She's just a guest at Emperor Heinrich's court. Um, she's unlanded. She's lowborn. So if her secret gets exposed, it's her problem, right? We practically have no risk. So let's try and get a hook on a very good steward. Stewardess. <laughs> that is an interesting uh, female version of that word. Um, and now I wanted to do something. Oh yeah, a perk. I wanted to give a perk. Now we can become strategist. And I think plus one diplomacy, plus three martial, lesser casualties, crossing water without advantage loss. That is just too good to pass up. We could, of course, go for Serve the Crown. 
which we'll uh, certainly do next because we do need a uh, quicker control increase and once we start yeah there we go okay can you come to our court now if i use the hook she will come hmm the problem is though can she can we have a female as a steward i don't know if that's possible Currently, we only have males. Where can I check that? A liege council. Where can I check that? Is that a thing of the religion, maybe? Main doctrines, male dominated. Um, enabled laws, male only, and male preference successions. Okay, whatever. Claims of women can only be represented against other women. Women do not get implicit claims. Women cannot be granted titles. Um, only men and vassals can be appointed chancellors, stewards, and marshals. Yeah. Damn it. That sucks. That sucks. Hmm. So we really, I mean, we do have a hook still. So there's no harm in it. But she could only be a spy master for us. Um, she could educate our kids, maybe. So yeah, there's no real harm in her being at our court, right? She's deceitful. She doesn't like us for being blackmailed. She has zero diplomacy. I don't know. I'll postpone that decision for a while. But yeah, I don't see much of a benefit. The only thing she could do is educate um, somebody or we could marry her around. And, but yeah, I don't really see anything to gain from that, sadly. And reforming the fate is... Uh, or we can create a new Christian fate. Or we could convert to another one. Right? Convert to fate. Um... But they're pretty much all male dominated and uh, if we create a new one that is gonna be a bit more expensive than we currently can afford so yeah not a solution to any problem okay barcelona's war is over and now the emperor can focus on france so uh, yeah we should just do that Hmm. Our only useful skill is Marshall, sadly. Um, I was about to th to think um, if we cannot... Uh, where we go? Oh, where is that? Where is that? Ah, here. Demand the demand council position. If we get a hook on the Emperor. But Did we uncover another secret on a diplomat this time? Aha. Uh -huh. A great eminence, in fact, at 30 years of age. Mm, oops, my council. But we cannot have females as chancellors. Chancellor Stuart Marshall, I think, was the point. Oh, yeah. So let's just... Um, should we get the hook on her? I don't know. Maybe we keep the secret. I don't know if there's events where we can trade secrets around. Maybe that that might be that might be good. Okay, so now we got the the claim. Let's see. They still don't have good allies, so let's see this done. Mm, and let's have you. We do need to save up a little bit of money, so we can have him improve religious relations for a while. Now let's see how we're gonna do this. Uh, let's check our ally. They're at full force, no wars. Burn have two allies. Have one unmarried kid, but so do we. And we do have a strong hook on 
Tuscany. Yeah. And they do have a sickly little daughter that we could marry and break off. Maybe. I don't know. It's difficult. We could break our patrol break off the alliance with Besançon and get one with Tuscany. Maybe. I don't know. But let's uh, not go into the if and how and when and what ifs. Uh, let's just get one more tick. There we go. Actually, let's first organize the levies a little bit. And there we go. Now we have 550. And then I think we can declare on our dearest brother-in-law and ask him to kindly give us the county. Declare war. Um, if any of you know, I didn't really find a button to say uh, bring your allies to the to the war immediately. Like I have to declare war and now I go here Oh, no, they are in the war? No. Um, now I'll go here and say, Hi, sir. Um, would you like to join my war? And he won't accept. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have to... Uh, hang on. Maybe we can... Ooh, ooh, ooh. That is a problem. We can get one diplomacy in a hurry. Is that gonna do it? That can do it. Oh, barely. <laughs> Whew, that was close. Uh, please join our war. Thank you. And we should raise the armies. That was, uh, was asleep on the job there. Now, commander of the army is going to be me. And yeah, that's just what we're going to have to do. Besançon, we're going to probably wait for you. We're gonna unite with Lyon, there we go, and now we can go in here. And we're gonna fight together with our allies. Okay, easy, easy. Enemy joined the war, Count Rudolf, okay. Enemy ally joined the war. Your acquaintance. Duke Ratislav of Bohemia died. That sucks. Mm, whatever. Um, ally joins the war, and our ally joins the war as well. Okay. So far, so good. To my knowledge, that is still... Yeah, we're still pretty much leading there, and uh, we're going to get the war target. So all is well so far. Um, oh, okay. So they're sieging some territories in uh, Besançon, which they can do. I mean... It's going to give them a little war score, but nothing major. And uh, we can easily get that back. Okay, let's try and fight them. Uh, the problem is, I think our ally will lead... Yeah, he will lead the way. Let's just stay here. Okay, and then try and catch him here. And here they come. Okay, ally is gonna join. Greetings, Count Van of Argyle. Despite our best efforts, yeah, whatever. Just try a little longer. I have different things to do now. Okay, let's check out this one. Ally joins. Uh, what happened? I got 100% already? How did I get 100%? Full occupation of the holding. Kido. So now the question, do we want to risk it for a biscuit? Um, we do have a firm lead on this fight. Let's yeah, so far so good. Our knight killed somebody. Our knight was wounded. Knight Rutger. 
Our knight maimed Ulrich. Our knight wounded. Yeah, so far so good. Your counselor. No. Okay. Yeah, that's what you get for being greedy. My plan was exactly this. Um, we can get a couple prisoners or just one. Now we got Count Ulrich who doesn't have any money. Ah, yeah, that was stupid. I was just being greedy. Now we can enforce the demands, so be it. Disband. Great. Ah, yeah, that sucks. I should have just taken it. Well, I had the chance. Okay, so now we need a new marshal. Um, and now I think we're gonna have to... Well, we can assign Rutger, who's... I mean, he's not too bad. He's a knight. We can also recruit Norbert to court for 10. It's not too expensive. So I guess we'll do that. But that's a big loss. Um, and that was just stupid being greedy. I thought we can get some uh, somebody in our prison and ransom them. But uh, yeah, I thought wrong. Okay, so you're an aggressive attacker. An organizer. Misguided warrior. Compassionate, lustful, brave. And Rutger we already saw. I mean, he's pretty much good for one thing. He's patient, chaste. Um, he's pretty much good for fighting. So let's let's have you be a marshal. And let's increase control in burn. And mourn the death of our best marshal. Probably for some time to come. Because uh, he was at 19. That's a pretty... Pretty decent skill. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what you get for being greedy. Oh, well. Okay, so now we do need a claim on Neuchatel. Um, and so far, things are going great. They don't even have allies anymore. So we just need the claim. Uh, and then we can grasp that territory. And we got the, the harder one to get. We got now. Even though it did cost us dearly. Rudolf von Lenzenberg gained 20 opinion of you. Mm, our nephew does have a claim on Bern. Why don't you come to court? No? Okay. That's great. And we do need to find a new target to sway, actually. Uh, I'll let this run, but maybe we'll get a little bit more levies and tax out of our bishop. But after that... We do need to find a new target to sway. How are you doing, my dear neighbor, Duchy of Swabia? Uh, they're doing okay. I'm not gaining too much power. Uh, the Spymaster believes there's something going on in the shadows. So, yeah, let her... Let her search a little longer. We don't have anything better to do. Uh, and it would be grand if we can get a position at the Legis. Oh. He does have a new marshal and we would certainly be a better marshal than him. My dear liege. Uh, we still need a hook. If I can sway him enough, is that... Is that a thing? I don't think so. I think we do need a hook or some something. Okay, let's check out our council. Um, he does like us more now and he indeed does give us more tax and more levies. That's pretty great. We do have a uh, almost 970. Okay, though, let's uh, try and sway our emperor. I hope there's nothing bad that could happen. Because 20% is a joke. But uh, maybe we could... Uh, also, we don't need our wifey to do court politics anymore. Um, let's just assist the ruler. And get a little bit more martial. Ah, I could still bite myself for that stupid mistake. Could have worked out, though. I mean, some of these, some of these uh, hostages bring out quite a payday and some of the go over the table for like 50 70 even 40 or so would be helpful because we are making money so damn slow that uh, any 
any amount would be nice. Speaking of money, let's uh, end the episode with uh, starting to f manufacture a claim on... I have a claim. Huh. Okay. When did I get that? That's cool. Hang on. Hang on, sir. Declare war. My claim. Hmm. Interesting. I wasn't aware how I got that. Huh. Really? Did I do that in my... Huh. <laughs> Whatever. If somebody can explain it, um, I certainly can. But I won't complain. So uh, we don't press a claim on Neuchâtel because we already have one and then we'll be a three county county count count so we could then either go for Genova we yeah but P Piment is uh, pretty strong so let us go for Zurich first because I think Swaybear is going to be involved in a lot of wars. And they currently have their own. They're defending um, against a duchy claim. So they're going to be busy. And if we're lucky, they're going to be busy long enough. And they're going to lose that war. And we can just press the claim and win it. Um, also, I think I might have been a bit hasty with trying to sway the emperor. Hang on, wrong button. Um, I think the time is better spent spent swaying our ally yeah yeah let's do that um so next time we don't have to bite our nails if he would join our war or wouldn't anyway that will do it for the episode so many thanks for you guys uh to you guys okay let's start that one over that will end the episode thank you guys for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you around for the next one